Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Please subscribe and hit the bell icon. The bold and the beautiful Wednesday, June 12 spoilers, new character debuts, Hope's confession rocks Brooke. The bold and the beautiful B&B &B spoilers for Wednesday, June 12 reveal that Bill Spencer, Don Diamond, and Liam Spencer, Scott Clifton, will head to Il Giardino, so it sounds like they'll enjoy a meal as they process Luma Nozawa's Lisa Yamada happy paternity updates and what this means for their family. At some point on Wednesday's B&B &B episode, Lauren Mayo will debut in the role of Tracy. Since Tracy will interact with Liam and Bill in scenes at the restaurant, she may be a new addition to Deacon Sharp's Scene Canaan staff. Meanwhile, Katie Logan, Heather Tom, will have a tricky situation to navigate at Bill's house. Poppy Nozawa, Romy Park, is hoping for Katie's blessing when it comes to her moving in and becoming part of Bill's life along with Luma, so Katie may have an interesting response. Katie will probably acknowledge that Luna seems like a lovely girl and certainly deserves to get to know her father. That said, Katie still has concerns about Poppy and her intentions with Bill, so she may drop hints about that as she fishes for more information. Since Katie will forever be tied to Bill through Will Spencer, last played by Finnegan George, she may mention that permanent family connection and let Poppy know she's not going anywhere. If Poppy tries to pull anything shady that could lead to heartbreak, you can bet Katie's going to find out about it. Of course Katie may stick with a tone that's somehow both polite and a little threatening as she quizzes Poppy on Wednesday's show. Other B&B &B spoilers say Brooke Logan, Catherine Kelly Lang, will await Hope Logan's Anika Noel, answer now that she suspects her daughter might have feelings for Steffi Forrester's Jacqueline Masson's Wood, husband. It may take a little more convincing to pry the truth out of Hope, but she'll indeed make a major confession about John Finn Finnegan, Tanner Novlin, soon enough. Hope will admit likely she's dealing with an unexpected crush, so Brooke won't like the sound of this at all. Perhaps Brooke will warn Hope to put Finn out of her mind and avoid stirring up any unnecessary drama with Steffi. Since Steffi is Ridge Forrester's Thorsten K. daughter, this is obviously something that could affect Brooke, too. Although Hope may promise she'd never act on her feelings and point out that Finn's too devoted to go for the idea anyway, Brooke may have some lingering fears about what the future holds. The bold and the beautiful spoilers say Brooke will make some predictions about the bad news that could be looming if Hope doesn't get a grip. In the shimmering hills of Los Angeles, the Forrester Mansion basked in the morning sunlight, its grand windows reflecting the city's golden hue. Within its luxurious walls, tension simmered and secrets were on the verge of eruption. This was no ordinary day for the bold and the beautiful. It was a day of revelations, heartbreak, and unexpected arrivals. The day began with a buzz of anticipation. The Forrester family had gathered for a breakfast meeting, a rare occurrence that signaled something significant was afoot. Eric Forrester, the patriarch, stood at the head of the table, his eyes scanning the familiar faces of his family. Beside him Quinn, his enigmatic wife, watched with a knowing smile. Everyone sensed the undercurrent of change, but none were prepared for the whirlwind about to descend upon them. As Eric cleared his throat to speak, a knock at the door interrupted the moment. The butler ushered in a striking young woman with an air of confidence that commanded attention. Her name was Olivia Spencer, a name that rang a bell but wasn't immediately placed. Eric's eyes widened in recognition and surprise. Olivia Spencer, he said slowly, as if testing the reality of her presence. Bill Spencer's daughter. Olivia nodded, her gaze steady. Yes, Mr. Forrester. I'm here to discuss a new collaboration between Spencer Publications and Forrester Creations. The room buzzed with murmurs. Bill Spencer, Eric's longtime rival, had a daughter none of them had ever heard of. The revelation alone was a bombshell, but Olivia's purpose hinted at an alliance that seemed both improbable and intriguing. Meanwhile, in a more secluded wing of the mansion, Hope Logan was battling her own demons. The recent turmoil in her life had left her restless and on edge. The guilt over her feelings for Thomas Forrester was eating her alive, and she knew she couldn't keep it hidden much longer. 
Today she had resolved to confess everything to her mother, Burke Logan. Hope found Burke in her sunlit studio, where she often retreated to find solace in her artwork. The room was filled with vibrant canvases, but today Burke's masterpiece was overshadowed by the worry etched on her face. She sensed Hope's turmoil even before her daughter spoke. Mom, I need to talk to you. Hope began, her voice trembling. Brooke set down her paintbrush and turned to face her daughter. What is it, Hope? You know you can tell me anything. Hope took a deep breath, her heart pounding. I have feelings for Thomas, Mom. And they're not just lingering feelings from the past. They're real and strong. And I don't know what to do. Brooke's expression shifted from concern to shock. Thomas, Hope, you know how dangerous that is. After everything he's done. I know, Mom, I know, Hope interrupted, tears welling up in her eyes. But I can't help how I feel. I've tried to deny it, to push it away, but it's there, and it's real. Brooke's heart etched for her daughter, torn between protecting her from the potential heartbreak and respecting her feelings. She pulled Hope into a tight embrace, whispering words of comfort and wisdom. We'll figure this out together, Hope. Whatever happens, we'll face it as a family. As the emotional exchange between Hope and Brooke unfolded, the rest of the Forrester household was abuzz with the arrival of Olivia. She moved through the halls with purpose, her presence stirring curiosity and speculation. Ridge Forrester, always the protector of his family's legacy, approached her with a mix of skepticism and intrigue. What brings you here, Olivia? he asked, his tone cautious. Olivia met his gaze without flinching. I'm here to propose a partnership that could benefit both Spencer Publications and Forrester Creations. It's time we put aside old rivalries for the sake of something greater. Ridge raised an eyebrow. And what exactly do you have in mind? Olivia smiled, a hint of mystery in her eyes. A new fashion line, one that combines the innovation and style of Forrester with the marketing prowess of Spencer. It could be groundbreaking. The idea was bold, almost audacious, and it left Ridge momentarily speechless. He saw potential in Olivia's proposal but also understood the risks involved in aligning with a Spencer. Yet there was something about Olivia's confidence and vision that was hard to ignore. As the day progressed, the threads of drama intertwined in the Forrester mansion. Steffi Forrester, ever the fierce competitor, found herself intrigued by Olivia's proposal but wary of her motives. She confronted Olivia in the grand foyer, her eyes blazing with determination. Why should we trust you, Olivia? What's in it for you? Steffi demanded. Olivia met her challenge head on. What's in it for me is the chance to prove myself. To step out of my father's shadow and make a name for myself. And what's in it for Forrester is a partnership that could redefine the fashion industry.